I've been looking at uh, the recent refreshes to VMware Fusion uh, version 6 and also Parallels Desktop 9 and just doing some comparisons on the upgrades and also you know trying to assess whether those upgrades are actually worth the money. I have to say on both of those platforms I, I personally can't really justify the cost of updating from either 8 to 9 or from uh, VMware Fusion 5 to 6. My feeling is that there's really no compelling reason to do so. Um, even in spite of that though, I thought it'd be worth looking at some of the uh, benchmarks between the systems uh, and also looking at some of the speed differences and things like shutdown times and snapshotting, that sort of stuff. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've created a Windows 8 machine. Um, it's the same spec on both platforms. It's got uh, four cores of my MacBook Pro allocated to it and four gig of RAM and I've run the PC Mark 7 benchmarks for both platforms so let's have a look at them okay and they've both been run in exactly the same scenario so I'm uh, straight from a fresh boot with the machine doing nothing else so what you can see is on the left we have the parallels uh, desktop 9 result and on the right we have our VMware Fusion 6 result so you can see that uh, parallels has a slight head start it's 3756 against 3688 in the real world, however, that's uh, hardly anything really. I mean, if you look at the comparisons, it seems that Parallels is slightly ahead in things like video playback, uh, but everything else is roughly about the same point. So um, there's hardly anything to choose between them in terms of general feel of operation, and that's certainly the way they feel to use. Now on that front, Fusion to me seems like it's caught up some ground on Parallels. Uh, historically I've always found my general office or kind of work environment better in parallels from a fluidity and a kind of a usage point of view um, than I have Fusion but now with Fusion 6 they're pretty close and the benchmarks kind of bear that out as well there are some other things to consider though things like snapshotting performance and shutdown and startup time so let, let's have a look at those so first off then let's have a look at our shutdown and startup times with uh, Parallels Desktop 9. So what we'll do is we'll shut down this machine, see roughly what it looks like in terms of time. There we go, it's finished. I'm sure you'll agree that's pretty snappy. Um, so what we'll do, let, let's fire it back up. You can see how quick that is. And there we go, we're ready to go. So let's log back in. So it's certainly pretty quick, very snappy to shut down and start up. Personally, I, I tend to suspend my machines rather than um, shut down and start them up. The suspension uh, is very, very quick. I can show you that as well. So what we'll do is pop up to the menu, go to virtual machines and we'll just hit suspend. There we go, and that's done. So we'll take it out of suspension, or we'll resume it, I suppose, to word it properly. And there we go, we're good to go. Now, one fairly um, big function that I use in desktop virtualization is the idea of snapshotting. So I, I take an image of my machine before I do things to it, uh, just in case those things go wrong and I need to roll it back. So let's have a look at how that works as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a snapshot of my machine. We'll pop up to the menu at the top here, go virtual machine, take a snapshot. Just going to call it snapshot one for demo. Off it goes, it creates an image of that machine right now.
There we go, that appears to be finished. Now it's also worth switching across and having a quick look at the dog just to make sure it's not um, still doing anything. Also, if we have a look at our discounters. And have a look at um, what's going on there. We can still see that there is some traffic going on, which is pretty interesting. Now, I'll, when we get to Fusion, I'll, I'll explain why that's pretty interesting. So what we'll do is we'll pop into Parallels, we'll make a few changes. So let's change our desktop look or something like that. So let's change. There we go. So we've made some minor changes. So let's have a look at rolling back that snapshot. Obviously, the taking and rolling back of snapshots, those times will increase depending on how many changes you've made. Um, but once we get to the Fusion, you, you'll, you'll see why this is relevant. So what I'm going to do is pop into my virtual machine, go to revert to snapshot. Okay, it'll warn me that I'm making, I'll, I'll lose all the changes I've made since the last snapshot, which is fine. So we'll say yes and we'll let it restore. There we go, it's done, very, very quick. Now obviously you'd expect it to be quick because I only made a very minor change. Um, it'll be interesting though when we switch over to Fusion and we, we can uh, see what the differences are. So let's do that. So what I'm gonna do is suspend my Parallels machine. There we go, so let's quit out Parallels. I'm gonna fire up Fusion. Okay, and that's my machine. Now it's currently in a suspended state, so I'm gonna resume so we can have a look and see what the performance is like on that. There we go, and we're ready to go. So this is the same machine, but it's effectively just now running in VMware Fusion. So let's have a look at our startup and shutdown times. So let's shut the machine down. There we go, right again, very, very quick, very, very snappy. Let's fire the machine back up again. Go, we're ready to log in. So as you can see, the performance in startup, shutdown, and uh, suspension, that sort of stuff, is very, very similar between the platforms. Um, what is interesting, though, is let's have a look at the snapshotting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a snapshot of this machine exactly the same way as we did in Parallels. We'll just pop up to the menus. I'm going to go to the virtual machine menu and take a snapshot. There you go, you can see it being created. Now what's interesting is that appears to have finished. But here's the thing that I've noticed with Fusion. If we pop across to the desktop, you'll see that activity seems to be going on on the VMware Fusion uh, icon there. Okay, and also if we pop into Activity Monitor, we can see that there's a fair amount of activity going on in the drive, so it's still actually taking that snapshot. So let, let's wait for it to finish. 
Okay, that's now finished, but to take that snapshot took the best part of three or four minutes, uh, which really surprises me. So if snapshotting is a big thing, it could be that uh, Fusion is, you know, it's, it's a bit too slow for you to use. Um, so let's do the same thing. We'll make some changes. We'll change the desktop background. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll just roll back to that snapshot that we took. There we go, that's restoring. back where we are so what about things like suspending well we've had a look at that so let's pop up or suspend this machine there we go it's very quick we'll unsuspend it or resume it And there we go, it's ready to go. So my only real concern about performance differences between the two is really around the snapshotting. The taking of snapshots on Fusion just seems to take that much longer than Parallels. So for example, if I fire up Parallels again, bear in mind I've already got a VM running now, so I'm gonna fire up my test machine. There we go. Uh, what I'm going to do in parallels is just take a snapshot of it. There we go, and it's done. Um, you don't get any additional activity on the icon for parallels. You don't see any. Um, big increase in disk activity, it just seems to be so much faster. So whether I'm misunderstanding what's going on between those two products, um, it's quite possible, of course. Um, you know, if we delete stuff, for example, and let's restore that snapshot. And there we are, we're back where we were. So it certainly just seemed a lot quicker uh, doing the snapshotting in parallels. But um, other than that, I can't really see much difference between the products. And like a, between the products, and like I said earlier, I can't see any compelling reason to, if you already have Parallels 8, moving to Parallels 9, you're not getting a massive amount more. Same with VMware Fusion, if you've got five, probably no compelling reason to move to six.